Hey, what is up YouTube people? My name is Darius and today I'm gonna teach you how to make smudging signatures like uh, this one here and uh, we're gonna learn how to do about three types of smudging so uh, let's see what we're gonna have here. Uh, this is the uh, the third type that we're gonna learn and uh, basically it's this aquarel, uh, I don't know how you pronounce that kind of smudge uh, as you can see here and uh, the next type it's gonna be something like this and uh, we're just gonna pass through these uh, doing a process and uh, you're gonna get to choose which one you're gonna keep because you're gonna learn all these three styles uh, in this tutorial so uh, you decide which one you like most and uh, next one we have this one where is it there you go no this one here which is uh, just a regular uh, smudge uh, that goes uh, from the upper left to the lower right so uh, let's see how I did these I'm just gonna delete these just one by one and we're gonna start from zero so first things first we need to uh, import our renders. so I'm gonna go here through my uh, renders and I'm gonna choose this uh, half-life 2 render and uh, I'm just going to erase the uh, Forsaken uh, from uh, sigresource.com uh, logo thingy here because we don't need that. Uh, th but thank you for rendering. So um, moving on, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put it on my signature uh, here, and I'm just gonna resize it so it's just a good uh, size on the signature. And uh, this seems about right. I'm gonna press enter. And uh, now what you gotta do is basically multiply this a couple of times, duplicate it, and uh, I'm just gonna make a couple of copies here. Uh, I'm just gonna move them to the right, to the left, you know, uh, play around it, this, and just make sure you have your render there and uh, it doesn't move. Let's call this render so we don't get confused. And uh, I'm gonna make another copy of it and put it on the left and over here. and. Yeah, that's basically it. Now, uh, with these in the background, you just select them all, and uh, now you group them. Hold Shift on the keyboard and press the group here, and uh, it's gonna group them. And I can hide them, and I can show them, so uh, there's no problem of losing them. And uh, now what you gotta do is right-click and select Convert to Smart Object, and uh, now right-click again and select Rasterize Layer. So now we have them uh, in uh, one image, and we can begin to smudge. So I'm gonna grab my smudge tool here, uh, and I'm going to select a uh, soft brush uh, on the 9 pixels uh, there we go and strength to about 89 from uh, it's it's good to range from 87 to 90 uh, depending on how you feel it's better and uh, now we just begin to smudge you know up and down and we just hold the button there of course a another smudge you can do is just click like this from the render going up if you have a, a render that has some flow uh, in this case it doesn't have much flow so uh, I'm just gonna do it like this uh, just for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna make it a bit quick so I'm just gonna smudge 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 trying not to leave any empty spaces and uh, not showing what was in the background before and uh, as you can see this works pretty well it's uh, pretty quick as I do it right now so uh, yeah let's move on okay now that the smudging is done let me just add some more here in the corner because it seems to be missing and around here and uh, now we have to uh, what do we have to do I'm gonna add some um, I'm gonna need to add some colors so I'm gonna make a new layer I uh, make sure this layer is uh, under uh, above the group above the background there we go and uh, under the render so in the middle and uh, now I'm gonna grab my soft brush tool and I'm going to select I'm gonna sample actually a color from the render so it goes with the colors and uh, with the brush I'm just gonna brush around here uh, don't mind doesn't matter what shape it is because you're gonna smudge it anyway and uh, this is gonna be our uh, backlight so uh, let's see what we're gonna do here I'm gonna select my smudge tool again and I'm just gonna do the same thing here and I'm gonna smudge 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 and we're gonna put this layer it's gonna be on let's see normal uh screen nope uh overlay yeah overlay and that's just gonna give us a bit of color you can actually duplicate it and uh change the mode here to about linear dodge or uh, whatever just to get a bit more color you know and uh a bit more light in the background and uh, let me just close theme because someone's messaging me and i don't want to be bothered right now exit come on there we go and um 
now we need to burn the background a bit and uh, add some lights, add some adjustments. So I'm gonna make a new uh, layer here and um, I'm gonna go to image and then apply image, where is it? Here. And I'm gonna click press OK and it's gonna put my entire image on one layer. And uh, now I'm gonna go here to my burn tool and I'm gonna have a uh, big uh, 150 uh, pixel burn burn a brush thingy yeah, yeah, you can see it here soft to soft brush and uh, the range should be shadows and exposure to about 90 about 19 so and uh, I'm just gonna go in around here in the corners and um, just under it and just to make a bit of shading you know and to make it look cooler and now I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna add some lighting so I'm gonna go to my brush tool back and I'm gonna select a big brush a big soft brush about 200 yeah and uh, don't judge me but I'm gonna select the orange right now and I'm gonna put some orange here and uh, I'm gonna select also some white and put it up on top of the orange Let's see how that looks like. Looks good. And now I'm gonna make a new layer and just put two big chunks of lighting here and lower the opacity quite a bit. And uh, this is gonna give give us some lighting there. Not perfect, uh, but it's just to make the tutorial look fast, you know. And um, let's add some curves. I'm gonna go here to the adjustment thingy and I'm gonna select curves here. And I'm just gonna make a small, small little curve here. We just put some darkness there on the signature. And now I'm gonna go to my blue, uh, to my blue curve here. And I'm gonna pump this up here just a little bit, just to give it a bit more color. And this one to just put in, put out the greens more. Let me just lower this a bit. And there we go. Now, as you can see, it pops with color, uh, and uh, looks pretty good. Um, now let's, and this is. Uh, basically the first type of, of smudge that you can do and uh, another another thing that you can add are some fractals so I'm gonna select uh, this for example I'm gonna put this on uh, screen I should have put this in the background but I am NOT going to actually can I No, I don't wanna I don't want to reburn it so I'm just gonna put it here like this and uh, just uh, do, put it on screen and I'm gonna erase with a soft brush on the eraser tool here and uh, just just leave just a small portion of the fractal so it just you just see that it's there but uh, it's not too much uh, there we go and okay so this is the first style and uh, what you need to do now is to sharpen a bit so I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna apply the image again image apply image and then okay and uh, now we're gonna duplicate this I'm gonna drag this on the new layer because we're gonna erase the parts that uh, we don't we don't want to be uh, sharpened. So I'm gonna go to filter, sharpen, and then sharpen. And this is gonna sharpen the background, just make it look crispy and nice. And uh, the render didn't need sharpening, so I'm just gonna erase the render here with the eraser tool and uh, just leave it blurry, a bit blurry as it is. Because it was it was already pretty good like this, so uh, I wouldn't mind that much. And um, sorry. This is the first style and uh, if you want to keep this, that's your decision. You can add some more adjustments, uh, some more gradients, uh, whatever colors you might like. I don't know, like this on Lighten and uh, just lower the opacity. I don't know, whatever, whatever suits you. Uh, and now let's pass on to the second style that you can use, uh, which I honestly like a lot. So uh, I'm gonna go back. Gonna go back to my smudge tool, and this time I'm gonna select a hard brush tool. So I'm gonna go to hardness 100% here, here with the brush, and I'm gonna select the size to about, hmm, let's see, uh, 25, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try 25. I'm just gonna apply the image again here. Uh, yeah, we have it there, and I'm going to grab from the blacks first from the. Um, from the darker areas and just bring it like this here and just bring a bit of light and as you can see it makes like um, some cool smudging effect cool wavy like things and probably here too you can also just make like a snake here you know let's make it a bit more separated because I don't want them to just look attached because it's not gonna look that good there we go and this is just my type of smudge I, I don't really uh, have a name for it or something that just just happens to be there 
and if you like it you can keep it uh okay let's see there you go hmm, not that good but yeah uh, you get the point you can also choose a bigger brush a uh, bigger brush size and uh just make bigger circle like these and uh, now let's add some lighting to this so i'm gonna make a new layer on top of it i'm gonna go to my brush tool and select a really small brush soft brush and i'm going to sample the orange again from the uh, uh half-life logo there and just gonna brush it like this where uh the 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 snaky thingy intersect like this and just gonna do this all over the place and it's gonna look pretty cool i think let's try it like this and just a bit more variations and now we're gonna put this on overlay and now we're gonna go to filter blur and now gaussian blur and uh let's just select a good size so we see that there's lighting uh coming from the background onto the render uh, which is what we want and it's gonna also hit the render on some parts so that's good uh maybe we can add some more no yeah ah oh, that's good uh and yeah the <laughs> i hope you got the idea on uh, how you can do here and oh this is really nice let me just make it a bit more bigger like so so it's gonna cover more things now now it's beginning to look uh, a bit nicer here it could, it could use some dodging and um, maybe some uh, burning and stuff like that let me just do it like this let me see some dodge here where is the dodge tool here highlights 43 maybe just click around here you know just bring out uh, the lights and stuff and uh, yeah this looks pretty nice and this is the second style that you can do and uh, the last last but not least you can do the uh, aquarelle, aquarelle uh, kind of style so I'm gonna go to my brush tool uh, wait just make sure you have the uh, smudge tool selected and go to your brushes here and select this uh, what is it 27 39 39 uh, spatter 39 pixel spatter uh, brush here and uh, strength 90 and you're just going to just brush it gently like this and just bring out the darks on the lights like this and it's just gonna look really good and aquarelle like and uh, it's gonna look really really creative and uh, really simple clean and yeah just overall really good this is probably my favorite style of the uh, of the three styles and let me just put it here and here and here like this and just go around like making circles small circles like this and there we go and this gives a really awesome lighting i use it looks really nice it actually came out really really good there we go Oop. just make sure not to touch the render that much so uh let's see here think like this and uh yeah maybe sharpen the render a bit now that it's done and uh, as you can see it looks really really nice i'm really satisfied with this uh let me select my sharpen tool where is it here and bigger brush i'm just gonna go over the render on the face maybe play around more with the lighting add some gradients let's add a soft violet and blue or gradient here uh soft light and yeah that looks really colorful there we go and this basically this, this is basically how you do a smudge signature. I'm not really that big of a smudger. I uh, basically more I am more of a C4D guy. I uh, really like to spam the shit out out of C4Ds. If you see my previous videos, so uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is basically how I would do a smudge signature. Uh, of course, there are other techniques easier than this, maybe. Uh, I especially I am not very uh, good at uh, the at this one here. I, I try to emulate it. I see a lot of people using this style recently, so I'm I'm just gonna try to uh, make a better version. Uh, but uh, you can have your own twist to this and uh, add your own uh, maybe design or brush size or brush type and uh, see what you're gonna come up with. And if you have a suggestion, please just leave it in the comments so I can see it because uh, I'm having a bit of trouble. But Apparently, I have something with aquarelle style here. I like it. It's good. So, um, yeah, that's basically the end of the tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I, uh, I enjoy when people subscribe to me. And uh, I just, it makes me feel like people really like my tutorials. And I appreciate it. So, uh, enough uh, talking here. I am going to leave you guys. 
and uh, wait for another tutorial uh, in a bit. I'm actually gonna make, I'm gonna try to make more videos because I really, I'm really feeling more artsy lately. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, cheers, subscribe, fave, comment, like, and stuff like that. So goodbye.